And the rock and roll continues, folks. Steer Stan and Beauties. I'm a 36-year-old single mother from Sydney who is worried sick about her 17-year-old son. He's obsessed with rock star Marilyn Manson. He's made his bedroom a shrine to this despicable creature. I recently stumbled across one of their CDs and the lyrics truly horrified me as they were all about suicide and devil worship. Since he's been into this uh, phase, he stopped communicating with me and has had 666 tattooed on the back of his neck. I think you got that tattooed on your cheeks, haven't you, Jan? Uh, he's been expelled from school and constantly talks about suicide. Is this just a phase or have I lost my son forever? Worried sick from New South Wales, Fiona. Well, believe it or not, worried sick. I'm very qualified to comment on this because I've met Marilyn Manson. I spent quite a few days with him when they were out here touring Big Day Out, not last year, the year before. And um, I took, took him out. We went to the movies together. We saw... Psycho together, oh. his choice. Um, but no, honestly, Marilyn Manson is an artist, he's a music artist. He grew up uh, in the 70s watching bands like Kiss, who were very theatrical with the makeup and, and the performance and very Alice over Cooper. the top. Alice Cooper, exactly, yes, Alice Cooper. Um, all these people that employed a, a kind of extreme uh, personal presentation and, uh, in a sense, to encourage idolatry, to make themselves into rock and roll gods, rock and roll heroes, to you know, express themselves and create change. And I just want to say about Marilyn Manson, he plays the antagonist. He sees himself as some kind of vision, not visionary, but he sees himself as someone to, who should provoke and press buttons. And much like you, Stan, he does a similar thing in that you're just a lovely little fluffy teddy bear, and we all know that. Thank you, But Marilyn. you love to play the role of the antagonist, and it's an important role. It's an important role to provoke people um, out of their complacent little bubbles and make them question their values and question the world that we live in. And that's what Marilyn Manson does. He's actually in... He, he um, When we sat down and had drinks, he ordered a... Um, a mixed fruit daiquiri and um, we talked about uh, rabbits and um, how he fed them to his pet snake because I feed my snakes rats. Anyway, but he's uh, quite a nice, charming person. Have you and got a snake? I've got two snakes, you know that. What sort of snakes are I've got they? A, I've got a coastal... What, bit me, one bit me the other day, it was awful. Um, really bad bite. Uh, coastal carpet python is about eight, nine foot and um, Lulu, who's a little smaller, she's So about when you bring the blokes home to your place... The, 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 the snakes crawl out everywhere? I, um, I lie naked on the floor and let them slide all over me. It really does it for them. Oh, <laughs> I bet she oh, does. Oh, dear. I so don't. Oh. <laughs> dance, dance, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm coming home to your place. Oh, <laughs> God. She loves me. Breath of my love. <laughs> Do they live in a glass cage? Yes, they live in vivariums. I don't really let them slide all over me naked. They live in vivariums, um, which are heated, heat, heat controlled environment, environments. They're actually they're terrific pets. They don't smell, they're um, quiet. You can leave them alone for months. Mine's at home now, not, you know, quite happy getting ready to hibernate. But um, talking about Marilyn Manson for a moment, he, I mean, I didn't mean to trivialise his life by bringing up the fact he's kept snakes when he was young, but he was inspired as a young person to be a rock and roll performer. Yeah. And, you know, and you he's know kind who of painted himself in the old to a days. corner a little now, I, I think. I like Screaming Lord Such. Do you remember yeah. Screaming Lord yes. Such? Yes. Now, I thought he was terrific. He completely sent up the pop culture completely and turned into an old drunk who then got elected to Parliament. <laughs> so, yeah. well, he's, fantastic. he's only just recently that. died. But I think the interesting thing about this is your use of the word despicable. I, there are, I've got... Two ways to go That's with this letter. Good word. One, you're very judgmental about Marilyn Manson, and I don't think he's really the crux of this letter. But if you're judgmental about your son's behaviour, he is going to turn away from you or he's trying to antagonise you. So that's one thing. He's just mucking around with your head. Alternatively, he really is in dire straits. I noticed that Hang you're on. a single mother and he's I'm a single... He's had 666 tattered yeah. on the back of his yeah, neck. Yeah, he's a 17-year-old boy. I'd, I'd say right. no, the kid's he's, a lunatic. No, he's playing, he's yeah. either playing with your head kid or you... Kid should be certified. I think it's an important fact that you're yeah. a single mum because I'm a single mum also and I don't know if you have a lot of male influence Do in the household. Do your kids have 666 on their back? No, but my no. children have learned to wait until week, someone's finished speaking. Mm. I think <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> well, in my place, we wait for something, to, somebody to say something with common sense, of which oh, well, you don't do very never, often. Yes. I take it seriously and get a male with influence affecting your son. Someone, I mean, I personally, I'd put him in the army. Okay, <laughs> Rebecca. That was a radical. That was a radical solution to. I, I a very, leapt over those stones and then I was there. <laughs> I love that. 
Um, look, worried sick. I would be a bit worried sick because as a mother of two boys, I think that it's not so much the tattoo, it's not the Marilyn Manson thing, it's the talk about suicide. I mean, you've got a 17-year-old boy who's in the, you know, really in the prime of his it. life, and when you're talking about suicide, that's the no, prime. They're that's, talking, they're not doing it. Well, that's true. Except some of them do and then do it. So I'd be really worried. Mm. And um, if it wasn't Marilyn Manson, it'd be someone else. That's right. Kids I think this kid's problems. troubled, and I think that he's playing you off a break. Uh, I think because you are a single mother, there isn't enough um, male influence around, and I think maybe the army is a good option. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly the by the uh, Australian Army, isn't it? I was so enthralled with what you were saying, I was actually yawning then, and the director caught me on oh. camera. <laughs> I'm insulted. So, it's well, you sh no, that's all right. Okay, Jan. Well, I, th I don't know the music all that well, but I agree that it's shock tactics. And he does make that point somewhere in an interview I read that he just wants the kids to want answers. Mm. And that goes back 2,000 years because Socrates said, an unquestioned life is a life band? not worth living. Yeah. We must no, question. So Socrates, was it? Okay. Socrates, Socrates, yeah. But, but the so more Socrates information, the we live in an information overload uh, world and the more information it's at the price of the imagination and I just want kids to use their imagination no, and not soak up these <laughs> other people. What was that again? There's no a in imagination, the imagination is what? The imagination is what? Oh, I don't know what I said. Good. Now, the imagination is, the imagination is what? <laughs> I mean, oh, you don't know what imagination is. No, no, no. Is. You said the imagination is something, and I, I, I oh, want to write it down God. because I want to chisel it in stone. <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. No, it was actually well, something stop. good. I, no, there is a malaise. A malaise. Is that the word? There is an imagination I had a boat malaise. malaise. The kids are in a malaise. Well, a they need yeah. stimulating. <laughs> it's a pity that a dickhead like Marilyn Manson comes along right. once in a while, too. Okay. Because that Marilyn Monroe and Matt Time Manson with this because I'm really, I'm incredibly yeah, bored with this conversation. Yes. I'm incredibly yeah, bored. Nice. Lisa, have you had a go yet? No, I haven't yet. No, Sam. bad luck, you miss out. All right, we're going to come back and talk about secret love.